Vegas, down to LA, or down to the beach, all the way there. So, wish us luck. The but that's what we're here for today. We're gonna show you guys what this thing looks like underneath because I have yet to put it up on the lift, and I'm very curious to see what it looks like. Make sure there's no issues with it. I know we have an oil leak. I get that. I don't know if we'll fix that today. But we'll at least take a look to see what we got to do and get it ready for the road trip. We got a road trip. Oh, look. Oh, with that? Yeah, look. Check it out, guys. You remember this? I don't know if I told you guys about these. I got those made. Keychains, tags. You guys are interested. I got them for sale. Eight bucks. Let me know. We'll get one shipped out to you guys. As a matter of fact, let me show you all the goodies. I know a couple of you guys were asking about some merchandise, some swag. We got some. Let me show you. Swag starting to come in. So... You guys follow me on Instagram, you would know. So we got hats. You guys are interested. I got hats made. These are snapback flat brim. If you guys are interested, those are available. Hit your boy up. Email me. I'll put my email here on the screen. And also put my Instagram. If you guys can hit me up on Instagram as well, we can get one out to you. Uh, we do PayPal and we do Venmo if you guys have either one. Some stickers. You guys need some stickers. Let me know. I got the GP. And then I also got the Chevelle stickers. So if you guys want one of each of those, let me know as well. We got those available. And then the, the shirts too. Keychains. Those are the keychains I just showed y'all. We got the Goose Performance shirts. If you guys are interested, ranch time equals seat time. Let me pull one out so y'all can see it. It's a little show and tell, huh? Let's see. What'd you guys think of that? Not too bad, huh? Yeah, if you guys are interested, let me know. These shirts are $25 shipped. We'll get one out to you guys. Just let me know what size. If you guys got the big boy sizes, 2, 2X and up, those are 2 bucks extra. But let's move this car. Enough of that. Let me know what you guys think about the merch. If you guys are interested, we'll get one out to you. We'll get some out to you, I should say. We're going to move the drop block next door where I got the lift, and we'll take a look underneath it. pretty good looking view guys i am super impressed with this car i mean this thing is so well taken care of you can just tell i mean even the brakes look everything was coated underneath this thing looks real good look it, literally that is the only thing that is rusty under here but that's obviously because it's not stainless steel or anything like that but look at that that is the factory exhaust to one pipe, solo pipe. This thing is so freaking nice. Other than that rusty old exhaust, we might end up changing that exhaust later on down the road, but this car is freaking clean. Super clean. Um, Yeah, look at this thing. Obviously we have a little, it leaked. I know it leaked oil and by looking at it, let's see. Yeah, look at the exhaust. Damn, that's so crazy. Look how just nice and tucked it was though from the factory. That's pretty cool. Well, yeah, here's the leak. You can tell where it's leaking. It's looking on the back of the engine. So it might be our rear main seal or the back of that gasket. Um, we'd have to pull that cover off and see where it's coming from. But if it looks like it's gonna be a little bit more involved than what we have time for, at least this week. Um, I might have to do this when we get back. It doesn't leak crazy. It leaks more when it's parked, obviously. But all we do is add some oil and we'll be good for the road trip. We'll be fine. Take a little bit of uh, oil with us, you know? Um, but yeah, this thing is so freaking nice, so freaking clean. <laughs> Guys, so I decided to do a little bit more digging into that oil leak. And I'm really glad I did. Because I really thought it was like the rear pan or the oil pan or even a rear main seal or something like that. And it's not even that. 
It's not even that. It's crazy. I am so impressed with this car. I mean, they just, whoever had this freaking car, they just took care of it, man. They just were some really, really good owners. They were really good on the maintenance. Anytime it needed, anytime it needed anything, it just, they got it. You know what I mean? And it literally, truly looks like this car has less than original 30,000 miles on it because everything looks still intact. There's all these original clips that are still there. You know, you can just tell. You can just tell that this car actually has not been driven very much. And I'm just so impressed with it. But I found the oil leak. And it's not where I thought it was. I pulled that pan cover off, flywheel cover off. And it's not that. It's actually, looks like it's coming back. Originally... Well, it's coming back from the oil pressure switch on the back of the the back of the block. Let me show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see it back there? Well, anyways, it I got it back there and I just got the car running. See how that oil back there? And it's just dripping off the back of that switch. And originally I was like, oh maybe it's the valve cover, because look at the puddle I had back there. I turned the car on and I was like, that's a lot of oil. So, and I was like, oh, can it really just be the valve cover? And it, and I looked, looked, wiped everything clean, and it's not even that. It's actually just the oil pressure switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that one out, maybe go get a new one anyways, and then reseal it. It's crazy. That's all it is. So I'm going to do that, run to AutoZone real quick, and then slap that on. And hopefully that takes care of the problem. But I'm just continuing to be amazed with this car. It's such a good deal. It was such a good find. I'm not going to tell you what I paid for it, though. And it really makes me want to keep this freaking car, man. I mean, this thing is just... This thing will run for such a long time. I feel like it's going to be super roadworthy. We might even take it to Cali next week. We'll see. Because I know there's a huge cruise going on. A little quarantine cruise out there. But let me run to the store real quick and see if I can slap this on. Jesus. We are back from AutoZone, getting the zone. So we got the sensor. We got a new sensor because I'll show you why. And then we got this Permatex um, thread sealant. It's a high temp thread sealant. And it actually is meant, if you look, even on the picture shows the oil pressure switch there. This is what this is meant for. It's really, because what happens is people put um, just like regular RTV black silicone and then it leaks. It'll leak. It won't leak right away, but it will leak. And that's probably what happened there. Um, so this is the new sensor. The new sensor tends to come with it already on there. But we're going to put a little extra anyways just for safety measures. Because it is a pain in the ass to get back there. Um, let's see. See? See how they, it's already come some on, the, on there. I'll put a extra dab or two of it. But we got a new sensor because I need to show you why. The old one, if I can dig it out of my pocket... I pulled it out of there, and I don't know if you can see from this angle, just the threads looked almost like they were cross-threaded or if it was um, stripped a little bit. I had a little piece of thread come out of there when I pulled it out, and I didn't like that. So why not? And it's only like, I don't know, 12 bucks or something like that for a new one, so why not spend the money on the new one? So we got a new one anyways. We'll slap that in along with some thread sealant, but... I did forget to mention, you guys need to do a few things if you guys are working on these old small block Chevys. As you guys all know, for to get that oil pressure switch is a pain in the ass to get to, by the way. Um, you need one of these guys. You're going to need one of these sockets. They're actually meant for oil pressure switches. It's on 1 and 1 16th size. And it's got a crazy little, you see the inside of it? It doesn't look like your normal socket. Because of these things do not have a normal size on them. So you need that. Don't forget, you got to have one of those to get that out. And you see what I had to do because of the distributor where it sits. So some people in small block Chevys, they have the sensor kind of with an adapter that brings it outwards. So that way you don't have to do this. So I had to pull my distributor up. Now be super careful when doing this because you don't want to pull it all the way out because what happens is you can pull this thing out and then end up at 180 degrees and the car won't start. So if you're 180 degrees out, guess what? It's basically flipped. Your timing is all off. The car won't start. You're going to be like, what the hell's going on? 
Trust me, I've been there, done that, so don't do it. So I kind of slightly pulled it off a little bit. We're going to have to tweak it a little bit just to make sure the timing's correct. But just do that. Just prop it up. Leave everything in place. Don't disconnect anything. Make your life a lot easier. So let's go ahead and I'm going to put this thing back up. Or I should say back on. Some new sealant. Put everything back together. And then turn it on. Make sure it runs. And then we'll throw this thing back up in the air and finish the stuff underneath the car. Oh, that's hot. Oh, this so madre, that wrench is hot. It's getting hot out here, y'all. Oh, shit, this stuff is hot. Car hasn't even been on in a little bit. All right. All right, guys, we got to put this bracket on here kind of loosely. This is kind of the worst part about this small block stuff. You gotta get this bracket on here, leave it kind of loose so you can kind of get your timing right a little bit. And then you have to adjust it when the car is on. Pain in the ass. Let's turn it on, make sure it runs. Bam, son, get you one. You guys need a sticker, let me know. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Hook you up. Alright, I hear back here. What's going on? Alright, brake booster. Sounds alright. Let's see. See how that the, it changes? See. Just gonna use your ear. I'm not gonna use a timing gun. This thing's all stock. It doesn't really. You can just hear it by use use it. Do it by ear, I should say. I like the sound of that right there. That sounds good. We're gonna tighten that bolt up. Put the air cleaner back on, and we're done up here. What I did discover is that two things. You see what's going on here? I I was thinking that the car kind of had a weird pull weird little um deal when it drove and i can see now why look it's missing this the sway bar linkage right there and on this side it's like super loose basically not tight at all so we're missing the link on this side and that side's all loose so but luckily for us it's funny i happen to actually have a spare linkage kit in the garage so we'll throw that on real quick and then maybe if we have time we'll pull these tires off i kind of want to see what these brakes look like these looks like an aftermarket brake kit because this bracket right here does not look factory looks like this came might have came with uh drums at one point and they switched it over but this car looks really good looks like just a bunch of dirt yeah oh yeah that's just dirt yep but man i'm super impressed with this freaking car I thought I had them in here somewhere. Oh yeah, there they are, look at that, see? Sweetness. Cool, cool, I'm so glad I had these. They don't have to wait. We can fix that issue now. So, it looks like these are a little too big. Now you see, this is the original one that was in there. We only have one. I was just gonna use that one, but we only have one. So we're gonna end up cutting. I'm gonna try to cut this tube down and hopefully we can reuse or actually still use the bolt. The bolt might be a little long. We'll see if it gets in the way. But what I'll do is I'll cut this spacer out or cut it down and see if that will work for us. Oops, let's do it.
All right, you guys. So, you guys saw all this freaking trouble we had to go through just to get these end links to work. Uh, so much for having a set that would fit. We had to modify the crap out of these. These things were just not working. Uh, the bolt was too long, so I've got another bolt, and that one was still too long. We ended up having to cut it down too. That's why we had issues with this side. And uh, of course, when you cut a bolt, you wanna have a nut on it. That way you can uh, thread and thread the nut back on and all that. We did that and it still kind of was a pain in the butt. We saw we had to kind of um, chisel it down a little bit. There was a little bit of an end that was still giving us issues, but we got it to work. We even cut this freaking spacer. Um, that's better than what it was because we didn't have anything here. So. That should hold up for a while. Um, if anything, I mean, we'll see if we upgrade the suspension on this thing one day. We do gotta do ball joints, it looks like, one of these days. We gotta replace these ball joints. Those look kind of worn and beat up, so we'll probably do that eventually. But what I wanna do also real quick um, before we do this road trip is actually, I wanna check these brakes a little bit. I wanna make sure these brakes look okay. They feel okay, but I just wanna kinda check the brake pad wear on these and then, uh, see how they're doing so let's pull these wheels off real quick and see what we got behind it so driver's side they look okay i mean like i said this looks like a kit that could have been done after market because this doesn't look like the brake kit i had on the shake and bake chevelle it looks a little bit different these pads look a little bit different huh let's see yeah that back pad has plenty of meat for sure the front pad looks like it still has some meat still looks okay there the rotor looks pretty good there's no warpage or anything like that huh. yeah it looks pretty good here Let's take a look at this side. Pat still looks okay there. I mean, it's definitely starting to wear down. Let's see what that back pad looks like. It's got pretty meat, pretty good meat there. The only weird, the only weird thing is that these things kind of squeak every once in a while. You know, that's kind of why I wanted to check them too. Is that when you're breaking slow, is they tend to squeak, but that could be the quality of the pad too, depending on what material it's made out of. But I think we're just gonna leave it alone, put some brake cleaner on this thing, and just call it a day with all this stuff here. Yeah, it looks all right. Hmm. Don't feel any warpage or anything. Or the back. Feels all right. Yeah, cause I figured it was this guy here getting down super low. You know, when you don't run out of brake pad, that thing starts to squeal. Start to eat up in the rotor, but I think we look okay. What I do want to do is I really want to pressure wash all this stuff off. Um. I don't know if I'll do it today or not. Should we do it today? I don't have any degrease or anything like that. But, huh. Just kind of get some of this gunk off here. But like I said, this is pretty clean, guys. This looks, I mean, thinking, look at this thing. This thing is all original, it looks like. Other than, like, upgrading the front brakes to a uh, disc. Because you can tell right here they took the proportioning valve out of here. And they had drums. In the front, so they rechanged the proportion valve along with the brake booster and they relocated that. But other than re obviously upgrading the brakes, looks pretty solid. Obviously, our exhaust needs a little work, but this thing has less than 30,000 original miles on it, so it's pretty good. It's pretty solid. Hmm. Yeah, yes, sir. Looks pretty good though. Can't complain. Can't complain for a 50 year old car. Well guys, I think that's gonna do it for the video. 
you guys saw what we'll do is we're going to try to get this thing buttoned up we'll get it out of, off the air and uh out of the air i should say and uh check fluids and stuff like that you guys don't need to see all that so we can get ready for la la cali whatever we're going we'll be out there there was supposed to be a car show car cruise but as you know we got canceled but we're gonna hit the beach in the convertible road trip all the way there check it out on instagram guys for updates and things like that if you guys are interested and if you guys are interested in any swag let me know send me an email send me a dm on instagram um guys stay rich what you want to do when the sun goes down